Well, hi everyone. I hope you're all well and I hope the start of school has gone really well. Well, we've all been busy digging into our Bible in the last few weeks. And so I'm going to ask Morgan just to share with us a little bit why she loves reading her Bible before we get going. Hey everyone, my name is Morgan and I love reading the Bible because it shows me how great God is and the amazing, incredible love that He has for us and the goodness that He has in store for us. The Bible is also a constant reminder of all the battles Jesus faced and the lengths that he went through to show us his unconditional love by dying on the cross for us and saving us from sin. Well, thanks Morgan for just encouraging us to keep reading our Bible. And so we've been busy reading the book of Mark. I think I'm on about chapter 10 and there are 16 chapters in the book of Mark. So I better get going because there's one more week left to finish the book of Mark before our February challenge is over. And I'm really learning that memory verse that's um, been on our chart as well. So guys, get going for that um, February challenge to finish the book of Mark because next week Sunday, I've got a new book coming your way and a new memory verse. Well, back to, us, to the next part of our thing that we're gonna do. We've also been thinking about a big question in our Bible stories over the last few weeks. And so I'm going to ask Annika just to remind us a little bit of what we're thinking through. What is the big question we are asking this month? How many gods are there? But we know this answer. There's only one true God. Thanks Annika for just helping us remember that. So guys, in today's Bible story, we're going to head on to the start of Elisha's journey as the prophet. Now, do you remember last week we heard that Elijah was taken to heaven in a chariot of fire? Well, in the story today, Elijah is used by God in a really cool way. So come on, let's listen to the story. The king of Aram wanted to fight against the kingdom of Israel. He planned to move his army to a certain place. But Elisha the prophet sent messages to Israel's king and told him where the Aramean army would be. The king of Aram was mad when he found out Israel's king knew the plans. Who had told him? Had one of his own soldiers told Israel's king? But the soldier said, we did not tell. It was Elisha. He is a prophet in Israel. He knows what you say, even though he is not with you. Well, the king of Aram found out where Elisha was staying. That night, the king sent horses and chariots and a large army to surround the city. The next morning, Elias' servant got up and saw the army. What are we going to do? He asked Elisha. Elisha said, do not be afraid. Our army is bigger than their army. Well, the servant did not understand. He only saw the enemy army. Then Elisha prayed, Lord, let my servant see your army. So, God let his servant see the mountain covered with horses and chariots of fire. The army of the Lord. Then Elisha prayed for God to not let the Aramean army see where they were. Elisha told the army, You're in the wrong city! He led them away to the king of Israel. Then Elisha prayed for God to see them, let them see, and God did. 
Elisha told the king of Israel to give the army food and water. Then he sent them home. That army did not come to Israel again. Well, another awesome story out of the, the book of Kings, hey? I really find it interesting how the Aramean king thought he was cleverer than God. He even thought he was stronger than God and he, he tried to outwit God. But we know that that is not even possible. And we see that in, the, in that lovely part where Elijah, Elijah prays and God shows his army with chariots and fire so big it covered the entire mountain. And you know, that story shows us that God is way bigger than we can even imagine. So the things that weigh us down and the things that are difficult and we think we're never going to get through our day and we're never going to get through school and we're never going to get through a difficult thing with our friend. Do you know what? If we ask God for help, just like Elisha asked God for help, God's on our team. God's bigger than us. He holds us in his hand. He's got us and he's going to help us. And so my encouragement to each of us is that we can call on God because he's here and he's just waiting to help us. So as you go into this next week, remember, call on God when you need him. He's right there. See you guys next week as I let you know what the next truth challenge is. Bye.